Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and today we are bringing you yet another project. Uh, this is the time of the year where we tend to offer out our project cars that have been sitting around not having any use and it's always our great desire to think that we can offer some of these old cars that can return to the road with some restoration work, recommissioning work, whatever's required. Now this one uh, is an Austin A40. Um, interestingly, um, the Austin A40 uh, did come in a few guises um, up to uh, the 60s with the A40 Farina. I think you probably remember the Italian styling. Whereas this one, um, they used to refer to this as the um, transatlantic styling and I think the idea back then was to try and build cars that might have more appeal in North America. Um, so this one, um, even though it's actually registered in 1956, it's actually um, an A40 Somerset. Now the Somerset was uh, created between 52 and 54. And then actually by 1956, they'd moved over to uh, uh, another county car, uh, which is called the Cambridge. And the car this one replaced was actually the um, Devon, which did look a lot more of an old fashioned car, not with these wonderful flowing lines. So she is a complete project. She um, had been driven around in the summer of 2023, and it's only between the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 just as I'm making this video that she actually has been parked up not running currently um, albeit there's no reason she wouldn't run um, the thermostat's been taken out and the thermostat body is actually been removed from the car it's here with the car but it's not fit to the engine so for that reason she's not up and running so you would have to take her as a non-runner currently and begin the work of returning her to the road. Now, as much as we're happy to do a walk around video and take some external photographs, uh, I'm afraid taking additional photographs and making more videos is really challenging because after the cars uh, have been unloaded, they then get tucked away in our storage barn. You are very welcome to come and inspect these cars, but we get uh, requests every day asking for photos and videos sometimes up to 30 40 requests in a single day so as you can imagine it's very challenging to keep up so we respectfully ask any interested parties who want to come and have a look they are very welcome to come and having a look so you'll see this car very much warts and all um, it looks to be complete there are some bits in the back uh, which obviously will be coming along with this car. Uh, a few bits and pieces there. Um, the interior is shabby. So certainly um, there's no carpet at all. Headlining is all but removed. Um, door cars look present on most of the doors here. Um, lovely old steering wheel. There's a four uh, speed uh, gearbox column shift um, synchro mesh in second third and top gear but not in first um, so she is a restoration job she is a project but she is a complete car and I'd love to think that someone could save this old girl um, they fitted a B series engine um, when these cars were new um, that's just a 1200cc pushrod engine. Um, that was a little bit more powerful in the um, Somerset than in the Devon. I'm gonna try and open up this bonnet. You need two hands for this room. Um, here she is. And there is that B-series engine. Get right down there, you can even see an engine number. That all looks pretty present. I think I mentioned to you the thermostat had been removed and there's the housing there. Lovely big head of tank on top of that um, radiator. No battery. Um, 
Now, considering it looks relatively solid in here, um, but in regards to the whole structural integrity of the car, well, I say that there's a little hole there, um, do expect that this car will undoubtedly need some fettle to return to the road. It would be wrong of me to try and describe this as one as you'd be driving away. It is a complete project. Um, I can't do a great deal on this wet day, but if I get down underneath here, oh, I'm not so sure what you're seeing, but uh, it gives you an idea. Um, panel by panel, I think all the panels on here would repair and get repainted, but you've got a few scuffs on this one. There's a bit of a dent there. The doors are relatively solid at the bottom here with some trim held on by a zip tie. Some cracks to the paintwork, but look at these lovely lines. Um, the chrome has certainly seen better days. I think they call that one uh, patina. I've got one uh, indicator been added here as a conversion but there isn't one the other side so if you do get this running you'll probably only be able to uh, drive places where you you could indicate right only of course these cars initially were fitted with these traffic aces which pop out the side here um, going into the driver's seat is in very poor condition that needs totally retrimming. There isn't any carpet at all in this car. The dashboard looks to be present and correct and looks like someone's fitted a choke there. Um, no door card this side and the bottom of that door is poor. So this car ideally would be inspected so you know what you were taking on. But we would love to see this car return for the road. Uh, all of the cars we have are probably worth a lot more of spares than whole cars, but once a car like this is gone, it's gone forever. So despite this being an Austin A40 Somerset, and the cars were built between 52 and 54, this one actually is uh, registered on the logbook. It does come with a V5. Um, nine owners, nine previous owners. Um, it does actually show this one as being uh, registered in 1956. So usually by 56, as I say, the Austin A40 was a Cambridge, but this is a 1956 Somerset. So folks, hopefully my little video gives you uh, an idea of the car. Uh, she is in need of restoration. Um, the paintwork is particularly poor on the back boot lid that would need completely stripping and painting, but it does look relatively solid uh, in, in almost all of the panels. I'd like to think that maybe with some real expertise and some TLC, this car could be fixed up and enjoyed again. Um, absolutely beautiful shape, um, but he does need restoring and I think it's fair to say this windscreen rubber has certainly seen better days but despite these things um, this could well be the project you're looking for it's sensibly priced to uh, clear out um, the majority of our cars like this do come in as part exchanges where we've sold a better car and the deal is we have to take the old one away from the garage um, we do end up with somewhere in the region of uh, 10 to 20 such project cars every year and it's usually early in the year we fish them out our storage facility and photograph them and sell them so um please arrange to pop and have a look at this special old car and you'll be welcome to have a good look around and see what you're taking on or if you would like us to arrange transportation we can do that um, you can deliver a car anywhere in the UK for a sensible price point. I'm trying to read what the uh, what the actual mileage is there. That's pretty tricky. You might be able to make it out better than me, but I'm afraid the sun's shining there. It makes it quite tough. So, folks, um, it's Danny at Bradley James signing out, having just shown you around this project car, which is a Austin A40 Somerset from registered in 1956.
Thanks, folks. Danny signing out.